What's up guys, I'm CJ, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm here for the third and final mask box reveal slash uh, review. So I've done three of these so far. I did a June and July box and now this is the August box. They asked me a couple months ago if I wanted to test out their, their subscription for three months and I have. If you want to watch the other two videos that I've done and you want to get all the specific information, I will leave all of that in the description bar down below and I will link the two videos that I did previously as well. So far, you guys, I have been really, really loving this. Like I've said in multiple different videos now, I have just been super interested in subscription services, especially beauty subscription services. I just think it's like so fun, and when you can find one that's a great deal, it provides what you want, whether it's green beauty or K-beauty or clothes or food or whatever, I think that they can be really fun. But you come home and you get a little gift on your doorstep every month and I kind of like not knowing what's coming in them. I know a lot of them reveal and talk about what's coming. I like to just kind of come into it and be surprised. So again, I have no clue what's in the August box here, but I'm gonna go ahead and open it up on camera. We're gonna talk about it and then I will talk about some of the masks that I have continued to use from the previous month's box. So if you like these subscription box videos or you have another subscription box that you want me to try out, I'm thinking something like the Maple Bloom box, but I'm not totally sure. Maybe Beauty Heroes, maybe Boxwalla. If you have any Beauty Box subscriptions that you want me to test out or you're interested in, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy them, and you might as well subscribe to the channel. And of course, as all YouTubers say, hit that bell icon. I have noticed that a lot of my videos recently are not getting hardly any views, so I don't know if it's just people are sick of me or if they're not getting notified or I don't know what the deal is, but hit the bell icon. Stay up to date, stay with me, we're a family, let's try to keep this baby alive. Anyways, let's get into the video. So this is what the Max box box looks like. The Mac obviously has the shipping information, but it comes in a beautiful little Tiffany blue box. I have so far just opened it, so I have not looked in it. So like the other boxes, as you open it, it has a little millennial pink and inside it says it's time to glow. They also provide this little card with every box that just tells you kind of how they recommend using masks. There's also social media information on the bottom. You can tag them in pictures and whatever and they will feature you on Instagram. So if you're at all wanting to be featured, then I would tag them because they're super cool people. So get like always, they come wrapped like this in little tissue paper and then you just pop them out and you have your masks. So right on top there are masks that we have seen now in every single box so far and that is the Dr. Belmore Soothing Gauze Sheet Mask. So these ones are supposed to be super low irritating. They're made of this really really cool kind of squishy jelly gauze material. I really like them. So I'm really glad that they have continued to include these. Each month, June, July, and August now have included these masks, and there are two of them, which is great because I actually really do like them. The material is super interesting. They do stay hydrated for, I have left them on for upwards of 30 minutes and they've stay hy stayed hydrated, so I really appreciate that. This is for daily repair, and it's just, the whole premise of this mask is that they are full of non-irritating ingredients, very straightforward clean ingredients that are just supposed to do the most for your skin in terms of hydration and just healing, soothing, and creating a non-irritating barrier for the skin. So I do really like these, so I'm glad that they have added another one. So another mask that I have sitting here is another one of these Skin Food Dual Effect Snail Sheet Masks. So this one was super interesting. I used the ginseng one a couple weeks ago and it was amazing. But what's really interesting about these masks, behind, besides just having a specific ingredient that they focused on, what's really interesting about these masks is there is a top mask that is looks like this and it kind of comes here and it actually has the snail or the ginseng or whatever the featured ingredient is. The lower part is this really interesting sticky kind of V shape, V line mask thing. And it's super interesting. So it says that there is the ingredient in that mask. It just feels like this weird sticky material though. You peel it off like a screen protector and you put it on and it just holds you right here. So it's really interesting. This area doesn't really get a mask on your face, but it's fine. I did like it and it was kind of fun to use. And of course, snail, one of my holy trinity ingredients, so I'm down to try that. This one is another Dr. Belmore mask, but this one's totally different. This is an advanced mask, so this is the Sika Hyaluronic Sheet Mask. So this looks like it has hyaluronic acid, it uses the same gauze type material, which I really like, and then it has Centella Asiatica. So this is going to be a super soothing, super hydrating ingredient. This says that it's a 
Moisture strengthening sheet mask drenched in gel with high purity hyaluronic acid that creates a moisture barrier to deeply hydrate and maintain the skin's moisture. And the Seeker Recovery Solution contains ceramides, panthenol, and teleasiatica extract to improve the skin barrier by strengthening its own energy. So it's formulated without nine additives, so there's no parabens, synthetic pigments, artificial color, phytanolamine, mineral oil, benzophenone 3, propylene glycol, ethanol, talc, it, it's naturally formulated. So I really like these masks, they're just very straightforward and I'm interested to try this. Centella Asiatica is a great ingredient, it's kind of blowing up right now, so this is like the most trendy mask you could ever get, hyaluronic acid and Centella Asiatica. Oh my god. We have another skin food mask. This one looks like it has a little ample. So this is the skin food Vita-C mask. So it has the Vita-C boosting ample up top and then it has the boosting sheet mask underneath. So it looks like this is a double dose of vitamin C and I really really do like these masks. These ones stay dry, stay uh, wet for about 20 minutes but I do like when they include the ample. There's a lot of it in there so take it all over your face, take it down your neck do a whole big thick layer of it, and then put that sheet mask on. I love these masks. Here we have another one of the Etude House Dr. Ample Dual Sheet Masks. These are ones that I have not used yet, but they also come with the Ample and then the Step 2 Mask. This again has a lot of the Ample in it, so this is totally chock full of it. And then the lower part is the mask. This mask is made from the cellulose fibers, which I really, really like. And then the ingredients for the ampoule looks like there's some niacinamide, some humectants, and some yeast. So it looks like a pretty straightforward hydrating first treatment essence type as, uh, ampoule. So I'm down to try that. And then finally, we're seeing another one of the Dr. Jart masks. I do really love the Dr. Jart masks, and they're quite expensive, so I like seeing them in here. And this is the Vital Hydra Solution Mask. This is for deep hydration. So I love the Dr. Jart material. It's a great mask. fits super really well. I have so far tried the Brightening Solution one and then the Anti-Trouble one, and so far they've been really great masks. I already know that I love them. The ingredients are nice, and I just really, really, really like the Dr. Jart mask. So the key ingredients are this one, are of course the cellulose fiber sheet mask. This has a quaxal technology, which is a glucose and xylitol patent from plants for hydration and reinforcing skin's natural moisture. And then has the super vital complex, which is oligohyaluron oligo hyaluronic acid and algae extracts, which is a proven to support long lasting moisturization through strengthening the skin barrier. So one thing I really like about this box is a lot of the masks are about strengthening the skin barrier and hydrating. Those are two of the most important things in skincare, so I really, really like the premise of that. So let's talk about a couple masks that I have used since uh, the last video. I have the, the Skin Food Aqua Grape Bounce Mask. This was a super hydrating gel mask. I really, really love this. I've never tried these before, but they were great. I love the hydrogel. I love the ingredients. This was a great mask. Of course, I have used through many of the Dr. Bale Moore masks. I totally love those. So I'm glad that they've continued to include those. We have the Soothing Hydro Solution Mask by Dr. Jart. This again, a really great one. Super hydrating and just really calming to the skin. And then finally, I went used the Rubelli Black Pearl Mask. This was great. This stayed hydrated for like 45 minutes. I literally had to take it off because I was done using it. It stayed super moist though. This really brightened the skin and my skin just looked really, really nice and plump and bright afterwards. So this was a great mask as well. Never heard of the brand before, but it was a good one. So that's it for this video, guys. Don't forget to check the description bar down below. I will have the mask box linked. I'll have their social linked, all the information you need linked down below. If you're watching this video, I am in Oklahoma right now at the NSBA World Show or the Youth World Show. So if you're curious about seeing any pictures or any of the action of me at a horse show, check my Instagram. It's linked down below. You're going to see horses and showing and me showing and all of the fun stuff me traveling across the country and yeah it'll be interesting so yeah just make sure you head over to my instagram and check that out that's it for this video guys and i will see you all in the next one bye guys